oh my god this literally took me ten thousand freaking hours to set up but we're ready to go <laughs> So if you guys are new here, my name is Mila. I make everything from college, lifestyle, and bookish type content. So if that sounds fun, definitely hit the subscribe button because we're going to have a lot more videos coming out in... I'm sorry, I feel like me holding my pillow affects the mic, so I'm going to put it away. Um, if you like all that jazz, then definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be coming out with many more videos um, in 2024. I feel like this is a weird video to watch in life. It's like your first time seeing me. Or I don't know, it might be a little like fun thing, like get to know me. Because basically today I'm going to be doing a little 2023 wrap up. I... Okay, so for you guys, this is something completely new. For me, I did this last year. I just thought that I lost the footage, so I was like, okay, shit, like, I cannot post it. Like, I had the audio recording, but I lost the footage. So I was, like, driving myself crazy trying to find the footage. Then I was like, you know what, the audio is useless because I cannot find it because I know for a fact I uploaded it, but then I deleted it from my camera. So I was like, okay, I lost it, like, whatever, it's fine. So I go to delete the audio recording. Um, It's off my phone, it's off my laptop. And then literally the day after, i'm like what's that video that i recorded it's a video and i'm like there's no way there's absolutely no way so even though it's like a not a new topic for me um it's a new topic for you guys and i hope that you really enjoyed it because i had a lot of fun filming this last year and i was like you know this can kind of be like just a little again wrap for me see if i can fit in any like life lessons that i learned this year and stuff like that like basically i'm just going to be talking about like different categories you know so like travel friendships like my love life relationships uh, school and like other things going on you know so it's like a very very chill video it's basically as if like you are my long distance best friend and we're like hashing up at the end of the year you know like that's the type of vibe that i want for this type of video i'm going to be talking about like me so obviously i'm sorry i thought i saw a spider so obviously this video it's uh it's gonna be a long one so definitely grab a snack grab a drink get cozy and i feel like what do i want to start talking about first I feel like let's start with talking oh my god let's start talking about friendships because i feel like friendship is just like the most general theme that goes out throughout the throughout the year i'm like not someone who really loses friends because i feel like when i pick you to be like a friend friend i pick you for a reason like i pick you because i like judge that your character is like a character that fits my life like you're not a bad person you're not gonna screw me over or anything like that or it's like I would know early on into our friendship like okay you can be like a close circle friend you're like i just am not gonna get that from you like i feel like i'm a pretty good judge in that because i don't i have like a lot of friends i don't have like close close friends like my close close friends you know it's not just like anyone who gets there once again i'm not someone who really like loses friends but this year i lost someone who, who i was really really close with honestly for the dumbest reasons ever i don't think she watches these videos like we honestly have not talked for like so long it hurts you know like i was actually crying in my car i was like it sucks that it's over this yeah sure it's like something meaningless at the time it's not a big thing but it's like on my end if you can like go back on your word and screw me over for something as meaningless as this and it's like how am i supposed to know that you're not going to do this for something like big you know so i was kind of the one who was like this friendship is over like she never reached out or anything after we had a little fight and stuff like that i'm always more of like a people pleaser and this year this year is honestly the year of like growth you know and i was like okay stop being a people pleaser like you have so many other friends who would never do this to you like i don't want to be too precise because like i know people in my personal life like know who these people are so i kind of want to like keep it as anonymous as possible something that i learned this year is like don't let things slide just because you want to stay friends with someone like obviously it does depend on the severity of the thing like this for me it's like it, again, it's not a big deal, but it's like you knew how important this was to me and you still screw me over when like you could have like literally texted me to talk about the scenario three days earlier and nothing and it would have been fine, you know? Choose people who choose you, who like, you know, like who make your life easier, not who go behind your back and screw you over because again, you did this for this type of thing. Who knows what you can do later on for like more important type things. So it sucks because that was a good friendship that I had that ended. But then on the other hand, I became close with so many new people like i want to say necessarily 
I met a lot of people this I mean obviously I did meet people but like I got closer with people who I knew versus getting closer with people who I met I kind of like that better because it's like oh like I never saw the side of you it's like when you're like underestimated and it's like oh my god I really underestimated you I underestimated like how much you click your personality stuff like that so that was like really fun like I did make a lot of like newer friendships that I would have never thought that I would make. It's like, I saw this person and I was like, I genuinely like you as an acquaintance. I don't know if you'd work as friends. And now like we're super close. We see each other every single day. And I'm like, I love that, you know? So I definitely like surprised myself a lot when it came to friendships. And honestly, also it's like, I feel like at school, at least in my major, I was never really friends with people in my classes. Cause I feel like we always had like such different personalities and i realize now that it's not because we're so like yeah it's because we're different but like it's not because these people are studying what i'm studying that makes them like incompatible with my personality it's just that we are such different type of people yeah like you gotta admit it like people who study engineering they don't have my personality and it sucks because it's harder to meet people who are more my vibe but i really saw this semester that i found these people who are exactly like me like there's this one class I was friends with this one guy. He knew like two other people. He brought me, he brought his other friend who brought a friend, who brought another friend who brought a friend. And it's like all of us who didn't really know each other, who have the exact same vibe. We only like came together because of this one guy. And it's like, I found people who are like me in my major. And it made me so happy because this one class, I'm friends with so many people in this class and all these people I'm like where have you been my entire life because well like not my entire life but like since I started university I just I've never had connections like this with people in my major and another thing that I really realized is that don't like give up trying to make friends in university just because the first two times like it does not work out like again me it's been like I'm going into my fourth this is like my fourth year these past three years I had very few friendships friendships from my major but this semester is completely different you know it's gonna take time but you're gonna find the people in your circles that match your personality like you might not meet them immediately like you might be a little sad and stuff like that because it's like okay university it's like the best four years of your life but i don't have any friends i know i don't really talk with people stuff like that i've been there like i know it sucks but now it's like i know so many people just because of this one class because of this one friend and i found my people you know so just wait because you're gonna find your people that match your personality like match your values match your vibes and it's gonna take time but i feel like it's a little bit more worth not having these fake superficial friendships because like not that the people who i met before i did not like them as people it's just that it felt like more of a superficial friendship because i couldn't open up it was just like okay we go to class together we're class friends nothing more now i feel like it's completely different so that was like a little something that i was really not expecting going into this semester like i'm not really someone who talks in class but i started talking to, to these people in my classes and i know so many of my people now which is insane but it's like literally everyone feels awkward the first day of class and stuff like that but when you go in when you start a conversation with someone or if you like recognize someone like so many times it's like i recognize someone from my classes and i was like oh my god like you're from this class right and it's like they recognize you like i feel like very very low probability they wouldn't recognize you like obviously if you guys sit next to each other if you guys cross paths they would recognize you you know they just probably wouldn't like say something first so definitely like don't be shy like talk to people and give it time because you're gonna find your group like i'm thinking is there anything else that happened that kind of like fits in the category of friendships like there kind of is but it goes into like other categories so i feel like that's all i really want to say for the category of friendships just like give it time if you don't find your people because as cheesy as it sounds, time is gonna come. Don't be shy to make the first move. Trust the universe. Like it sounds so cheesy, but honestly, like trust the universe. I kind of wanted to delve into school right now because we're kind of talking about school, but then I feel like we can also talk about like my love life because it's like shorter, like a shorter little segment kind of fits in like relationships with people so i kind of want to like do that get it over with <laughs> not that like anything bad happened it's just that i feel like i learned so much in this year like in good ways and bad ways i feel like my it's weird because i feel like my confidence came up but i'm also like less sure of myself like let me explain there was this guy who i was into and i found out that he like knew of me before i knew of him when we were in the same environment um for like last semester like the winter 2023 there was always like a little something like i could tell there was like a little something on his end there was like a little build up like the anticipation and stuff like that which i want to talk about that before i get more into this not that the anticipation is bad 
it's just like don't be like too focused in this anticipation this like build up and everything like that because i feel like not that it kind of like blinds you to other things but it's like you get so worked up on that that's like it's gonna affect other areas in your life because you're just constantly thinking about that and it's like i'm someone i wouldn't say i get like very obsessive but with any type of people like anything happens to me i make it a big deal i overthink about it it's like the end of the world like the end all be all and again that's something that i like really like calm myself doing a lot this year and i was like stop like breathe stop like it's not that deep it's really not that deep but yeah so there was all that as like a build up even though i could tell there was something on on his end also and like it showed because like people cut like caught caught on caught on on it does that make sense the people like caught on and i was like okay like i see things this way i feel things a certain way like this behavior is not like just like a typical normal person um people are telling me they also see this it must be true like i'm not doubting myself so i was like you know what like let's just be like this is the last time i'm seeing him so i'm like you know what fuck it let's like shoot my shot like i never asked him out but i was like you know what like i'm interested do what you want with that information and then he asked me out we went out turns out there was kind of like someone else on the side and it's like it was really weird for me because i was like all the good signs were there but then when we actually go out it's like there's this thing that i would have like never expected given on all the data i got from you so i was like super mind blown i was it was so weird because i was like i thought that i knew what was going on that i was like trusting myself and for a while i was like i don't trust myself because i saw things one way i was so convinced of this one thing based off of like what i saw like and observations and stuff like that i'm like it can't be wrong like how you were talking what i saw and stuff like that then it turns out there was this whole other girl on the side you know so i feel like on one hand yes that kind of like boosts my confidence because i was like okay he's had me on on his mind like longer like much longer than i've had him than i've even known that this man existed right so I kind of like boosted my confidence and I was like, you know what? I'm going to like shoot my shot with you. Like I went up to him first. I was like, I expressed like I'm interested in you first. And I was like, I'm so proud of myself for doing that because I like, I've never done that before. I was like, that's amazing. So confidence up. But then on the other hand, I'm like, okay, so you're reading situations wrong. Like I thought that you knew better. Like you learned from like previous people but apparently not so that just like completely like mind fucks me for lack of a better word so it was weird like in terms of my love life confidence wise it was all over the place now i don't know how it would be but that was like an experience i wanted i wanted to share with you guys because it's like you know how everyone says like you can tell when someone's into you and i feel like i can tell now but it's like can i i don't know it's like that's like the mind fuck that's in my head this is like getting really like as if you were like my best friend because i feel like it gets things off my chest and you know what it might help someone out i feel like don't always trust yourself like it's weird because i don't want to say like don't trust yourself but it's also like i don't know if i can trust myself now but yeah that was like a little something that i kind of wanted to touch on to just see like you know if other people feel the same way because it's like i know what it feels like when someone's into you but then also it's like i felt completely like i was inventing things because i was like there's no way that's you know like it just didn't make sense in my head um so if you've been through that trust me like it's been there than, than that like it's not fun from that experience i handled it so maturely from such a like an unemotional point of view i really surprised myself on that like i'm a very emotional person but i really was like okay like facts 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 you might not know what you want right now but don't let drag me into anything until you know for sure and this was all like on the spot because this was when we were talking in person so i'm so proud of myself that i like put my foot down and i was like these are my standards if you cannot meet them like if you don't see things going anywhere with this person and you cannot meet my standards don't come back to me you know which i'm so proud of myself and he was like and he said something about that also he was like oh like i actually like really like res like respect that you're like what you're doing like how you're talking and stuff like that that's maturity like when you just know your worth like know your worth have your like fixed like standards whatever and enforce that you know because i could have very well like continued seeing him done something casual whatever but i was like no like these are my standards i know my worth don't bring me into your mess don't waste my time if you don't know where things are going with this person and i was like oh my god yay me like yay me so that kind of like marks the end to my love life i just wanted to kind of like talk about that experience because 
that's when I really realized like you are mature like you know how to set your emotion aside be like very like straightforward and I've never reacted like that in the past so just the fact that this was like face-to-face -face interaction with this person i i was amazed and honestly that's like one of my proudest moments this year because i did not expect myself to react that way another thing that i'm like super proud of myself for um this year is in terms of like academics because i never really excelled let's put it that way because i my goal was an idea like it wasn't and i've had this conversation with so many friends when i tell them my point of view they're like oh my god that makes so much sense my goal was always an idea it's like i would like to do this in the future because i like the idea of it i never had like concrete goals it was just like this is my goal do with it what you will but like this idea is my goal and it's like how can you be working towards an idea you know like you have to have like concrete goals know exactly what i'm working for i know what field i want to go into what companies i want to work on and stuff like that and since I've had that in my mind, I've been so much more on top of things, so much more motivated. And just this past semester, I was managing taking five classes, my position in my sorority that I will be talking about a little bit later on, a job, tutoring, like I still somewhat had a social life. And I'm like, whenever I tell that to people, they're like, I don't know how you do it. I'm like, me neither. But honestly, really thinking about it, I think it's like, I had my very, very fixed goal. And it's kind of funny because I took a summer class like the first half of summer and this class, I remember going into it, I was so, I was like terrified because I'm like, this class sounds so hard. I'm going to fail it. I went in expecting to do so bad and to fail it. And like, honestly, mid the midterm, because it was like a midterm and a final, midterms 40%, final 60%. The midterm, I got 30%. You know, I was like, that's horrible. I'm going to fail. My friend who got 35%, he talked to the teacher and the teacher was like, yeah, I would drop this class for you because there's no way you're going to pass. Like just the fact that our teacher told that to him, I was like, if I had gone to this teacher, I would have dropped immediately. And funny thing is that our final was on a Monday. I went to his office hours on Thursday. He was doing this like group like tutorial thing. So I wasn't the only one, right? I went there for like two hours, literally only two hours. And then I started like practicing by myself. And I don't know what happened over that weekend. I fell in love with this class. I fell in love. I just, everything clicked in my head. I love the material. I literally changed my entire five-year plan based off this one class. And this one class really, really showed me, okay, like you like the idea of this, but this is a whole other field that you didn't even know that you liked because you didn't even have the knowledge to know that you're interested in this now we're looking back because this was like six months ago so i feel like if it was like a phase it would have like phased out by now i did so much research when it comes to jet engines and like aeronautics and like planes and stuff like that in like these past six months versus i was into biomedical engineering so like more like okay like pacemakers fake limbs and stuff like that i always liked the idea of that and in the past, who knows how long that that idea was in my head. I was never as invested in it as I am in like aeronautics and plane engines. Just like seeing how that like changed my motivation for summer too. And it's like, I was actively like learning things on the side outside of my classes to better understand that. Again, there was no way for me to know that this is like something that I actually want to do. This is like the best path for me until I took a class and I was like, oh my God, like, wow. Since then... I became so much more serious and I feel like that's how I was able to manage everything because this was so important to me. The sorority was so important to me also and then tutoring would help me get to this academic career goal. So that in turn became super important to me also and then a job to like help me travel to take breaks from studying for like my dream career. Like it's just like my priorities completely shifted and even though everything became so much more important to me I still found a way to manage my time Honestly, don't ask me right now how I managed everything because I don't even know like I do want to bring out a little video um, probably like February when like my stream started about like Setting goals and like study tips and everything like that because I feel like I learned so much this past semester when it comes to that so definitely gonna talk a bit about that more when I have time to like think it through. Yeah, this year I really got my goal and it's so fascinating because when I talk about it with people, 
I feel like I've wanted this my entire life when I literally only found out about this field six months ago. <laughs> you never know till you experience it, but try to have your goals be like something concrete, something like specific, you know? Because if your goal is an idea, it's harder to work towards an idea because how do you get to an idea? Like what's your motivation for an idea, you know? And I never really saw that my goal was an idea until I really realized you have taken steps to get here. Whereas idea, you never took any steps because it's like Outer Banks, whereas Sarah is like, you don't love me, you love the idea of me. It's like that, like I didn't love Biomed, I love the idea of it. Whereas I actually love my plane engines. You know, so like whenever you set a goal, like think of that, see if it's an idea, if it's like the concrete thing. And that's honestly one of the biggest things that I learned this year because that made a huge, 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 huge difference. But next, what should we talk about? We did friendships, my love life, school. Let's do the sorority because the sorority kind of like ties in with like friendships in school. I still remember when I joined, I never saw myself playing the role that I play now. I, not that I was like a necessarily like shy person, like introverted. I was like, how do I say it? I was like softer, you know? I was like very much a people pleaser. Um, I didn't really like speak up like that much. I just was not confident. Like not in the sense that I wasn't confident in who I was. I wasn't confident in the sense that I would just talk with people and like not care what they think, right? And like looking back on like little old me who joined when I joined, and the growth that I went through, the things that I learned, the people who I met and everything like that. Like this past year, it was my first ever position. I went from having no position to being a VP, which it does happen, but it's like rarer because also my position was insanely hard. Like besides president and ops, I had the highest job. So obviously like little old me who has never had a position here, not that it was like like it was hard it was hard definitely managing that because i didn't know what was expected of me like no shame no like blaming whatever to the person who trained me for this position she trained me based off of how she would have wanted to be trained but i feel like i needed to be trained a different way to have it better benefit me you know looking back now even though i was struggling at times i was like i cannot manage all my time doing this because my job it was like i basically had meetings every single week i was like a mini president for our new members so it was a lot of work you know going from no position to that again i was just putting all my effort all my time in the sorority and at some point my friend was like i think you could be a good president at first i was like there's no way like there's absolutely no way that me like little old me can be president the semester happened so many more people were telling me this and i was like you know what like i could you know like i have the support of everyone here like i might not see it in myself right now but obviously other people see these qualities in me why don't i see them in myself you know so i kind of like that gave me confidence and then based off of that confidence from other people i feel like i started behaving like i deserve that position you know i don't want to say always go with fake it till you make it because sometimes like it's hard to fake it but it's like be a little bit delusional you know it's like find the moment where being a little bit delusional actually works and fake that you know it's like i want to run for a president so i'm like okay i am president right now like what would the president right now do what would the president right now say and stuff like that and then base all my actions off of if i were president right now you know that delusional thinking is amazing like that has gotten me so many places delusional thinking when it comes to other people no like that's when it's not gonna work out but when it comes to these type of situations thinking delusionally has helped me because it's easier to do that than just to fake it in my head you know so i started acting that way and then we had elections on november 27th i'm officially president it feels so weird saying that in my head and i'm so proud of myself like i'm so proud of how far i came because I feel like that's just the cherry on top, you know? Like this year, I discovered what my passion in life is, like what I want to do for the rest of my life, changed my entire like study method, organization method and everything to get myself to this place because I had my motivation, I had my goals and everything like that. And then that kind of like transferred onto being present. Like I had a very, very fixed um, goal. I had the plans of what I wanted to do as president. 
and I was telling people so people knew like okay like she wants this and she's gonna do this 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 so it's like how I was looking at my um career path as in like concrete like facts or stuff like that I was like showing that to other people it's like if you go for me like tell me what you want they told me something and I was like okay I would fix it doing this 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 I came with a plan I came with a way to get people what they wanted to get us to this collective goal and I feel like I only was able to see things that way because of the change in academic because I realized yeah being president is cool and stuff like that like it's a fun idea but it's like what would you do as president like if you're president right now and this issue happened how would you deal with it and then I was just solving problems like left and right I was like I was like grinding behind the scenes. I was preparing everything. And it's really that. It's like when you have that very, very fixed goal, when you have like your steps and everything, it's so much easier to get there. And you actually like want, like not that you don't want to get to your goal of an idea, but you actually want to get to this like concrete goal type thing. So I'm president. That's like, <laughs> that's like amazing. I have so much work to do like these next two weeks before school starts because again, I do want to do so many things. But it's so satisfying because I feel like once I change over the summer, once I change for this career goal, that's when everything changed. There's not even a way to like describe concretely what it is. It was just like clarity. I'm just so grateful for having had this clarity. Again, like I don't want to repeat myself, but like my life literally changed. The last like little area of my life I want to talk about is travel. I didn't really travel that much, but for me, I'm like, I don't really care because I like this was a growth year this was a realization year and i feel like if i had maybe traveled more i wouldn't have given myself the time to make my way into being president i wouldn't have allowed myself the time to really think about there's this career path that i want to go into like this is how to get there and stuff like that so yeah i sacrificed traveling but i feel like i put my life into a nice little suitcase and now i'm ready to travel because i have all this figured out you know but in terms of places that I actually went to, I went to Paris on spring break for five days. People are like, you're absolutely insane. I'm like, you know what? I'm living my life for the plot. Like this year, I really lived my life for the plot. When I wasn't like behind the scenes, like being my mastermind self, figuring something out. And I feel like I had the perfect balance of both that I had the most insane year of my life, you know? Like technically I was in Paris for, for four days and like the other day it's like flying and stuff like that. And everyone is like, you went to Paris for four days. That's insane. Why? And I'm like, why not? Like, literally, why not? And a couple of my friends were like, I'm traveling here for like a weekend or something like that because you inspired me to go. And I'm like, like, when you live your best life, when you live for the plot, when you do, like, when you just live your best life, unwantingly inspire other people. And that's a big thing this year. It's like, I realized how much people looked up to me or how much people were inspired by things that I say, things that I do and stuff like that. And it's like, in my head, it's like, I'm just figuring my shit out. I'm just like living for me. I'm doing what I want to do. Like you leave a bigger impression on people than you realize. Like when all my friends tell me, okay, like I think you would be an amazing president because of this, 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 this. And they're like, I did this thing because of this, 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 this that, you, that you did. I remembered when, when you said this and I decided to do this and every time someone says that to me, I'm like, what I say means a lot to you and it feels good, you know? It's like knowing that I make an impact in people's lives. So just overall, I learned so many things this year. My confidence came up so much this year and I just realized you impact people's lives so much more than you think. And it's like, yeah, I kind of had my like main character moment this year, but like all jokes aside, I did have my main character moment this year and I, I'm i so happy that me having this mentality this year influenced people to be better themselves or to like do these things because they wanted to and it's like I still think back and I'm like I'm absolutely amazed <laughs> but yeah that was that was basically my year in review I don't know if I missed anything I kind of like wanted to touch on the general topics to see how this goes again i've never like posted a video like this before so i didn't want to say too much or too little or stuff like that but i felt like okay take the big topics do a few like life lessons that you learned from these topics they like, talk a bit about it and then you know let's like, see how it goes so i definitely hope that you guys enjoy this you guys can take a bit of my advice and you guys have a little bit of like you know entertainment listening to my life i just spit 
I will hope you guys didn't see that, but I just spit. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing more of my face, definitely hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up because we're we are going hard in 2024 posting videos. I'm sorry, I feel like I look so pale. And yeah, I hope you guys, you know, got something out of this video. You like my face and hopefully I'll be hearing from you in the comments down below or you know hopefully we see each other next year or next week who knows so stay safe protect your vibe and i'll see you all next time bye guys